Hello everyone, welcome to week 23. So what happened in week 23? So again, my PhD weekly vlogs. If you are new to the channel, then I am Sambit. I'm living in Netherlands for more than three and a half years. And I'm sharing different things in the channel like food, travel, and cooking and meeting people having some expert interview sessions and also some advice sessions and also supermarket tours ikea tour and other kind of things so this is particularly focused on my weekly phd life in this week I, as you can see from the title, like how can you grab the low hanging fruit? I mean, if you don't understand the proverbial meaning, so it's like always try to grab the easy thing. Although it might not be true in different contexts, but if you watch, if you have watched my weekly vlogs before, in week 21, I had the first real problem during my PhD. So to solve these kind of issues, sometimes you try to look something very far, but the thing, the solution which you want in your work is somewhere near you. It's not that far. So to get that solution, you need to look up that thing again and again. In my case, I had to look up a solution for multiple audio inputs. I'm not going the technical details for solving a small problem so that I can proceed with my experiments that I'm planning in the second year of my PhD in Netherlands. So what I realized is that, as I have mentioned again, like it might not be true in every situation, every context, every point of time, but sometimes grabbing the low hanging fruit that is doing the easiest thing first helps. And you should keep that in your mind. Don't think always like I will do something very complex, very innovative, and then I will be awarded a Nobel Prize or something like that. So the main point of discussion is that why should you grab the low hanging fruit? So I can relate it to my example. Like uh, I was always looking into the multi-channel input solution when I always ignored the thing that in one laptop, you can always connect multiple audio devices. Then why not proceed with that, which is much, much simpler than looking into something like a audio input multi-channel device where you have so many mute and uh, mixing buttons that people use while recording or podcasting and those, those, those kind of things. So the thing is that sometimes you can do some things easily and that will help you for a short term, which will also help you to go ahead in the long term but you ignore those things when we are doing a phd uh, you should always keep in your mind that things can be done easily you should always start with the easiest solution instead of over complicating things so that's why i always say like sometimes not always grabbing the low hanging fruit helps so it might be in different domains like if you are working in medical fields or I don't know like sensors or anything if you're doing a PhD always keep that in your mind like things can be done more easily then you should go for it and if you are looking for a solution or if you have a real problem you run into many problems during your thesis then don't always uh, think that you like it will be like it needs to be solved in a something very complicated way and it might be like for a week you are searching for a solution working on different solutions but nothing works then what i have felt is like take a short break and clear up your head watch some movies or do something which you like like cooking or i like cooking so it depends on you and take a short break that helps to clear your mind or maybe go for a run depends on you and then again rethink that and try to see that solution from a easier perspective it's difficult to describe how you come into that easier solution but normally the easier solution is in the question itself it took me like one or two weeks but i have a short term solution with which again i can proceed for the next phase of my phd so i hope that this helped you something and uh, the title uh, is mostly related to what happened with me during this week 
and i hope that you learn something with it uh, smash that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe and share to my channel and keep watching peace